Thanks for thinking about us for your living experience. Uh, this is Pinehurst Apartments. We want to show you a large one bedroom, one bath at 765 square feet. Um, this is apartment 5T. So let's go ahead and pop in. One thing you'll notice is this keypad entryway. What that is, is it's powered by Duello. It's a smart home system that you can use with your phone. You can adjust it with your thermostat, your locks, and your lights with your phone directly. Um, or you can just use that keypad that's out there and enter a four digit pin to get in and out. So it's super cool there. But yeah, when you first walk in, um, it has this really nice kind of vinyl style entryway, um, wooden style vinyl, and then it kind of goes into your front room here. Um, and you can see how vast this front room is, but I mean, it's definitely nice to have this with the winter time and things like that. But yeah, the living room has lots of big windows in it. Um, you get a dining light or a living room light here, and then there's also a dining light as well. And so people tend to use this as dining and this is kind of living room zone. Um, but it definitely has a really big double double window effect on the balcony there. Um, you get an extra window, it's kind of an added measure. And then of course this really big one that we're really known for. Um, but yeah, coming on this other side here, I kind of went into a space that you probably really did, wouldn't have known until I show you from this side. But it's a really cool closet. It's nine feet long inside there. It's right next to your front door here. So if I can show you, I'm gonna zoom back out of here. Jeez, I apologize. Um, it's a nine foot long walk-in closet. So it's very, very long. And then it has like a six foot kind of kick out on this side. So you can utilize it for coats and stuff. There's a rack above it. Um, you can also store like bikes in here if you want. I've seen people use it as like a love sack reading area, things like that. But yeah, so the front room area, you can see is very open. Um, a lot of the time I've seen people use, you know, sectional style couches and still be able to fit a TV and stuff on the side. And then that kind of separates you from your dining zone. Um, but very, very cool. There's just so much flexibility to this living experience, this living section here. Um, and then of course the kitchen. So this is kind of our crown jewel of the whole place. The thing I really like about the kitchen in this one is it has all of our stainless appliances and you got the quartz um, granite counters. There's a kind of a stool area you can use there if you want. But yeah, really open countertops. This is a lot more like a house style size kitchen. It's very open. It's our largest kitchen in the whole community. Has really nice big open cabinets in here. But I really love this fridge, it's by Hayer. And it's a quad door fridge, so it actually opens up with freezer on the bottom and then fridge on the top. And I'll kind of show you from the inside here. Um, you also have the flat top stove, stainless as well. The microwave that's built in, it's all Whirlpool, so really great brand. Hayer's also a branch off of Whirlpool. And then of course you have the built-in dishwasher on this other side. I love our dishwashers because they're stainless all the way through. So that's antibacterial as well, it really helps with your dishes. And then there's just kind of a push button set up on the top, which helps with, um, you know, basically having a setting set up. And then when you shut it, you can't really adjust it, but it really kind of keeps everything working like it's supposed to. Um, you also have the double sink here, gooseneck sink, which I really like. And then we even have like USB outlets that are built into certain areas. So that's really cool. You get one in the kitchen here and then one in the bedroom. Um, and then, yeah, the fridge, let's show you that. So, I mean, I love this fridge. It has a quad door effect. So there's the freezer on the bottom and then the fridge on the top. And the fridge is nice because it's very open. You got all these shelvings on the side, clear, so it's very elegant looking. And then there's even like labels for veggies or fruit. So really cool there. It is shut off right now, just being that it's a vacant apartment right now. We tend to shut off breakers where we can. Hopefully that's somewhat understandable. I know it's kind of a, a nice savings for us when we need it. You also have this built-in pantry that's built in, which I really like on this one. Um, it's so big. You can see it's way taller than the fridge and there's just so much storage space. So it's almost like in most apartments, you're looking around, you're like, where am I going to store this crock pot? Well, there's a space below. Where am I going to store something bigger, right? That you don't use all the time, juices, blenders, things like that. There's a lot of cabinet space below here. And then I like that all of our upper style cabinets are very open and big as well. And they're kind of a soft close. When you shut them, they just softly close, you see. So very cool. Um, there's even a washer dryer that's built into this one. So every apartment that we have comes with washer dryer and they're full size. Really great. And then there's like some shelving spaces on the top here. Those are just Xfinity stuff that you'll get as a part of the media package that we have throughout the community. But yeah, I love that it has like a really warm feel in here. Um, very welcoming, I guess, right? The way that they laid this out. Um, you have this double tone kind of paint effect and every apartment has the crown molding and the sort of two tone paints there. So really, really cool there. Um, coming over to the bathroom, you can see right away, you don't have to go through the bedroom to get to it. Hey, there's me, what's up? Uh, but you don't have to go through the bedroom to get to the bathroom, right? A lot of one bedrooms tend to have to do that. So I really like the, the way they laid this out. And this is just a water heater uh, furnace area. 
So all of our water heaters are going to be brand new over the next three years or so. We're just in, in a project where we're changing these out. So this is a 50 gallon, so it should last a long time. You got all the pop, uh, upper piping, very easy to access. It's called the hydronic water heater. Um, and then the bathroom is just really nice because this kind of door area here opens you up to an extra just linen closet. Again, we have so many cool little storage closets and stuff in here. Of course, the toilet setup, you get the nice open space for the counter. And then you have the built-in tub, which I really like this tub. It's bigger than you think. It's actually a Roman style tub, level size tub. This goes up to my kneecap. So very, very tall. You have the two-tone tile in here. It's hard to get a good shot of it because it's so open in here, but you have this kind of curved rod with the taller shower head. So all you tall people, you don't have to worry. I wish I was taller. I wish I was a little bit taller, but you guys won't have to worry, which is nice. Because I'm average, I'm 5'10", so, and I, that's way tall for me, so. Of course, right here, one thing that's nice, you get the double windows in your bedroom, and the views are really cool. But you can see it's a really big room. I mean, it has enough space. When I lived in one like this, I had my king size bed right here, and then we had room for a dresser and stuff, and there was just a lot of open space. And then the doors are so separated here to where you could fit a dresser there. I mean, there's just a lot more open space, you know. And then the closet's really nice. It's fully built in, so it has like the racks on the sides. A lot of storage is about five feet long by about four and a half feet wide. So very nice walk-in closet. But again, the windows are just so cool in here because you get the corner window too. And so the views are really nice. You can already see some mountain views from about over there. This is part of our complex here. But yeah, super nice, really cool views. I'll show you from the balcony real quick. All of our lights are LED as well. So everything shouldn't burn out very quick. Um, it'll probably last you at least two to three years is what we're hoping um, and save you some money on power as well. But yeah, so really cool open balcony. Um, I'm actually wearing a t-shirt today because it's nice weather. But yeah, you can see it has a really cool view from this one. We're up on the top floor here. Um, but yeah, you'll get a carport that's built in that's just like this one of these ones here. And then anything that's open like this one here, some of the stuff over here, is just for anybody to use first come, first serve. And we actually feel like those are always open pretty well because so many people have garages and when they have a garage, they kind of use that spot behind it too, like these cars here. So it allows you to still have open spaces for the people at the top floors like this. Um, but I love the views, it's definitely worth that and it's very open out here. So you can do like gas or electric grills, we allow those, um, outdoor furniture, things like that. So in a nutshell, that's the one we have. Um, hopefully you can see yourself living in this se section uh, and it's not gonna last very long. So I would say jump on it as soon as you can and uh, appreciate you watching my video. Thanks, we'll see you soon.